Topping this week's news, some in the cattle industry say it's the single most significant challenge to their livelihood and to the future of the American cattle business in a generation. They're talking about the recent proposed rule on livestock marketing from GIPSA, the USDA's Grain Inspection Packers and Stockyards Administration. GIPSA and the proposed rule was a hot topic at the recent cattle industry summer conference in Denver, as Brian Baxter reports. Coleman. I view GIPSA as probably one of the most um, damaging and important issues that we've faced in a long time. It's very disturbing to me to think that our USDA, Department of USDA, has circumvented Congress's intent of the 08 Farm Bill. Pretty near everything that we worked hard to get out of the Farm Bill and Congress's direction to USDA is back in this rule. It's ironic that USDA says they are looking out for the little guy. The GIPSA proposals as I see them would harm us, the small to medium sized producer, the most. From the NCBA policy forum to groups gathered in the hallways, no doubt cattlemen at the Cattle Industry Summer Conference were expressing concern about new rules proposed by GIPSA. The proposed GIPSA rule on competition coming out of USDA is extremely concerning to us for several reasons. But the biggest reason is this is basically big government putting themselves right in the middle of the cattle marketplace. They're changing the liability out there on uh, using contracts. And because of that, we're going to see a lot of the branded products, the alternative marketing arrangements, the contracting opportunities that we've worked so hard for so many years to build to help satisfy the demand that we're seeing from our customers, that's, that's going to go away. What this does is says USDA will now look at those transactions and decide whether they are unfair or whether they are undue uh, preferences to other people, which would be violations of the act. In doing that, USDA has not only redefined the terms, they've also changed the standards of what it would take to make a case. So what does that mean? That means that private litigants, civil attorneys, uh, tr we call them trial attorneys, will have a field day of making the next round of cases against either the packers or uh, livestock producers who are involved in those agreements. The GIPSA rule, if allowed to go forward, would hit hard on producers such as Bill Rischel of Rischel Angus in Nebraska. Even as a small producer, he's been able to remain profitable by marketing his cattle based on their high genetic quality. He told the NCBA Policy Forum he fears the new GIPSA rule will take away that kind of opportunity. Speaking for myself and my customers, these proposals will devalue our product when we've spent essentially the last 25 years investing fairly large sums of money to achieve premiums and improve consumer demand both domestically and internationally. There is no doubt that the rules being proposed by GIPSA will increase government intervention in the marketplace. I do not expect nor do I want the government to guarantee my profitability. And many of these GIPSA proposals do just the opposite. They will destroy the creative programs that have increased profit margins for those who have spent the time and money to develop alternative marketing arrangements that benefit them and their customers. What is happening in this country today is we are receiving, receiving seeing government insert itself into every aspect of the economy. I am passionate about it because the people we represent are the the true believers in freedom, innovation, and self-reliance. These regulations are really talking about let the government be your defender, protector, and we'll save you. The battle over GIPSA is far from over. At the request of NCBA and others, the USDA has extended the comment period until November 22nd, giving cattlemen additional opportunities to turn the tide on this regulation. There's three things that producers have to do. They have to submit comments on this rule to USDA. Uh, that is extremely important because the USDA needs to understand that this really is Im impacting small producers and there's an outcry in the country to make some changes. They have to show up to Fort Collins on August 27th for the Department of Justice USDA competition workshop. They have to make their presence known that we're not going to allow big government to come into our business. And finally, and equally as important, they need to contact their member of Congress and both of their senators and have them contact USDA in the White House and tell them 
No big government, no dictation of our marketplace. Let the free market rule and allow us as producers to get paid for the value we're putting on our cattle. NCBA has been involved in the comment period on GYPSA being extended, so there's still time to have our voice heard. There's also a USDA hearing on the issue in Fort Collins, Colorado at the end of August. Comments can be made there as well. For details, visit cattlemantocattlemen.org.